Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this series of videos, we're looking at Universal Audio's Luna software. And in this video, I'm gonna be looking at the warp function. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And don't forget to click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. So what is warp? Well, warp is a way that allows you to expand or compress the length of any audio recording. And it's really useful for tightening up things like uh, guitars, backing vocals, so everything aligns perfectly. So it means that you can get inside the region and just move certain parts of the audio. So let's show you how to do it. Let's have a quick listen to the track where we are so far. So let's have a look at this bass track here. What I'm gonna do is just to expand the view a little bit and zoom in. Now, the way that we access the warp function is to go over to our view here and choose warps. As you can see, Luna has already worked out all of my warp points. Now, what I really like about the way that Luna does it over a lot of other DAWs, if you find a note that isn't quite in time, what you can do, if you come down to the lower part of the region, as you can see, it protects the other notes. Now, it means that I can click here and it means that I can move this note here to the correct place without affecting any of the other notes, which I think is a really handy feature. So not only can we do that, we actually have different algorithms. If I click here where it says warp and polyphonic, we get the choice of polyphonic, monophonic, vary speed, lunar razor blade, and lunar polyphonic. Polyphonic, monophonic, and vary speed are Z-plane algorithms. So Universal Audio have licensed these algorithms from Z-plane, so you already know that they're amazing sounding algorithms. Now the bottom two, Lunar Razor Blade and Lunar Polyphonic, are created by Universal Audio themselves. So on a bass, what you tend to do is use a monophonic algorithm. Let's have a listen. Now, I'm not expecting to hear any major difference on this, but if I come up to a guitar part here, and again, let's choose our warps. Now let's go over to this section here, which I've already found, and let's solo this and hear what's going on. Now, I don't know about you, but on distorted or overdriven guitars, most DAWs find it really hard to find the transient points, and Luna has worked this out absolutely perfectly. So I've got this point here that I wanna move. If I leave it in the standard polyphonic mode, which is the Z-plane algorithm, and I'm gonna move this over. Let's make it quite drastic. Let's have a listen. Okay, now that sounds exactly as you would expect it to sound, but let's undo that. And this time I'm gonna choose razor blade. Let's try again. Now to me, that sounds incredibly natural for the amount of shifting that I've done. And to be honest, I can't believe how great that algorithm sounds, even compared to the Z-plane algorithms, which are leading class. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I hope you guys got something out of that. Now don't forget to like and subscribe, and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.